Hi guys, Miss M, and today we are going to be reviewing on how to subtract fractions with like denominators and how to subtract with our mixed numbers, including those problems where we had to do like about five different steps on how to get the final answer that we all loved so much in the classroom. And I'm also gonna show you another way that I didn't teach you in the classroom because we were running out of time, but I figured I'll show it to you now and that way you or if you like one way over the other, at least you know both ways and you can pick. So just like adding with our fractions, we're subtracting. And when we subtract, we have these like denominators and that's really important with fractions to be subtracting with like denominators. So this makes it pretty simple to begin with our starting out problems. So I have 8 17ths minus 4 17 Well, I know my denominator is going to be 17 because I have my two like denominators right here. And all I have to do is subtract the numerator. So I have to subtract 8 from 4, 4 from 8, and I get 4. So 8 17 minus 4 17 is going to give me a <coughs> fraction of 4 17 Pretty simple, pretty standard. I know you guys did really well with this in the classroom on those types of problems. So let's get a little bit more going. So now I have nine fifths minus three fifths. All right, so my denominator is gonna be fifths. Nine minus three is six. Uh-oh, I ran into my improper fraction again. Okay, and when that happens, I need to do exactly kind of like what I did, what I exactly what I did on my yesterday's video with the adding, is I'm gonna split my six fifths and I'm gonna make this into a mixed number. Well, five over five, I know is a whole. And I could even draw my tape diagram out to show it to you. I'll represent six fifths. So here's one, two, three, four, five, here's six. Five over five is a whole. How many fifths do I have left over? Well, I have one fifth left over, okay, to make six fifths, which means I have one and one fifth. Nine, nine fifths minus three fifths does equal six fifths, or one and one fifth. Either one would be good, would be a good answer, but if they're asking for it to simplify, this is how we simplify. We break down that improper and we get our mixed number. All right, let's keep going. I know you guys will do well with these because we did very well in the classroom. So now I have 17 eighths minus six eighths. Well, right off the bat, my denominator is gonna be of eight. 17 minus six is 11. Here I am again with my improper fraction. I'm gonna split. I'm gonna have eight over eight, which is my whole. And if I want to, I can go ahead and make my tape diagram. Four. Let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And it's okay if they are not perfectly separated or look the same as long as we get <laughs> what we need to represent 11 A. So I'll just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, cool. So I'm gonna color in, shade in eight. So here is my whole. So I have eight eighths or one whole. And how many eighths do I have left over? Well, I have three eighths left over, which means that my answer is going to be one and three eighths. So 11 eighths or to break it down, one and three eighths. Okay, as you can see from our tape diagram here. All right, so this was pretty standard, simple stuff that I know you guys did well with really well in the classroom, and now we're gonna get into some of the other problems where we had multiple steps to it that kinda took a while for us to get. But 
I have a feeling we'll be fine. So I have nine and seven tenths minus four and five tenths. Okay. Now this is where if you need to stop the video and take down your notes, do it. Okay. I'm going to subtract my whole numbers first. I'm going to subtract four from nine and I'm going to get five. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring down, I'm going to cross out my whole numbers because I don't need them anymore. This seven tenths, I'm going to bring down here and I'm going to make this five and seven tenths minus, going to bring down this five tenths. And I'm going to do five and seven tenths minus five tenths. Now remember, <coughs> excuse me. Now what I'm going to do is I can subtract right away. I don't need to break it down any easier because this 7 is bigger than the 5. So this 5 gets brought over. 5 is going to be the whole number. My denominator is 10. So now I just subtract 7 from 5, which is 2. And because I can simplify, I could divide my numerator and my denominator both by 2, 2, which is a whole, which we know, and get 5 and 1 fifth. Okay, because 2 goes into both 2 and 10. So when I divide 10 by 2, I get 5. So my answer is can either be 5 and 2 tenths, or we, if you give it it's simplified, because sometimes fraction problems will ask you to give a simplified number or an answer, this is what they talk about with the simplified. So either one will work. Just got to pay attention to your um, the question and what the question is asking for. Okay. Now this is where we're going to need to stop. You may need to stop and take some notes. And that's perfectly fine. So I have three and two fifths minus one and four fifths. All right. Just like before, subtract my whole numbers. I get two. Bring down this two fifths to make two and two fifths. Cross out your whole numbers if needed. Bring down this four fifths. Now, I can't take two from four because two is too small. So this is where we split. Remember, we split. One whole number less than two is one. We know, <coughs> excuse me, that five over five is a whole, okay? We know that, but I have two fifths left over. So altogether, I really have seven fifths because five over five, because <coughs> five over five here would give me another whole. So that additional whole would give me this two and I would still have two fifths left over. So all together, if I made my tape diagram, I would have seven fifths, okay? So I'm, then I'm going to bring everything down, minus this four fifths, and I can start solving. This one gets brought all the way up here, and now I can easily solve. Seven fifths minus four fifths is gonna give me one and three fifths. This is the way that I taught you in the classroom. Okay, there is another way that I'm going to teach you right now. And some of us kind of understand how to do these steps, turning a mixed number into an improper fraction. We're gonna use that to our benefit and how to turn that um, <coughs> improper number into back to its mixed number. Okay, so we're gonna use the same problem. So I have three and two fifths minus one and four fifths. Okay, remember when we were figuring out how to turn a mixed number into an improper fraction? I told you you multiply your denominator by the whole number, get that product, and then you add the numerator to it. So step one is to multiply. Five times three. Five times three is 15. Your next step is to add two to the 15. We're adding that numerator. Well, 15 plus 2 is 17. So I get 17 over your denominator, which is 
5. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side. Multiply, then add. Multiply your whole number and denominator, add your product and the numerator. 5 times 1 is 1, as not 1, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is going to give me 9. Put it over my denominator and I get 5. So now it's a little bit easier for me to solve. 17 <coughs> minus 9 is going to give me 8 fifths. Okay, but I don't want to have it as an improper fraction. You can't have an answer as an improper fraction. So I'm going to split this five eighths, these eight fifths into, and make it into its mixed number. So I know five over five is a whole. If I made my tape diagram, which I will here, okay, One, two, three, four, five. Here's my whole. Okay. How many do I have left? Well, I have three fifths left, which means that I have one and three fifths left. I did exactly, I got the same exact answer as the previous problem, as the other method. Okay. I just did it a different way. This way is kind of a little bit quicker. And like I said, I was gonna teach it to you guys, but we ran out of time. But if you prefer the breaking down method, you're more than welcome to keep doing that. This is just another way to, for you to see it. You multiply your denominator by the whole number, get that product, and then you add whatever the numerator is. Get your improper fraction, you do it to the same one, and then it's easier to break it, subtract it down. You're gonna split it again to get your mixed number. All right, guys, this was just a little bit of a quick review and a little bit something new for you guys. So until the next video, bye.